Hello guys and welcome to my new video. I've just sent to Unit Asset Store a new release version 1.0.2 for the review and the upward. What's new? Um, basically two main points. One uh, few improvement in the user interface that um, come from uh, uh, user feedback. And the first is that now you have a colored section and the area menu you can keep open whatever you want. And second is that uh, uh, we have uh, a new concept to create uh, close the water surface that is the cascade surface spawner and we started to add this for um, flat area lately but uh, as soon this would be an option even uh, for river uh, other kind of uh, water uh, surface and um, before Oh, hi. I want to show you just something, a quick new feature with River. And thanks to Marcos, he suggested this one. So we have our River. I'm going to get this. And we added one more information. That is the top. And uh, very useful uh, in design. And uh, when the slope, that means negative drop, the marker is going to be highlighted red. And so you can change in edit mode. Is is to that you can always go in design tool and make an auto slope. But this impact the entire flow the entire surface and with this feature you can do more and more yeah I'm really happy with the control of my spline yes nice work <laughs> and that's it so uh, I had to just say disable delete you can do. Let's go to create the lake. So we see that our level has a nice area for a not boring lake. So, and we don't need to put any plan. So I'm gonna add one point and the system is gonna calculate all the area where it can float around. As you see, it's not enough, so we need a kind of bridge. And here we are. Uh, you say, oh, but it's not perfect. Yes, of course, but we can add more and more point, And uh, we can fill properly our area. And it goes around. Yes. You can really, really get an extremely detailed. You can do it here. Yes. Okay. And now I'm going to add one more point. Yes. And um, we have other option. If we go 
in um, surface setting so we can add uh, an edge padding and so this will help I want to show the warfare Okay, we can add a material. I, I have already, yes, I think it's pretty nice. We see here we need one more point. We, we, we have two options. We can increase uh, the padding, but maybe this, and we note how. Yeah, the system. Okay. But best option is always put one more point and that's it. So, uh, if you have Vegetation Studio installed in your project, Cascade uh, Detect automatically and you will vegetation studio menu will pop up in the manager so let's go to vegetation studio i'm gonna start yes and we need a mask to remove our unwanted vegetation from the lake surface and uh, I go back to my manager and I enable vegetation studio and the system has created a mask and that mask follow uh, our lake shape. It has uh, a padding that is independent from the mesh padding and trying to create something Pretty easy to use. Uh, every user, every skill, uh, developing assets for the community, and our develop is driven by the community. Okay, here we are. Last, if I disable the terrain. That's our play, and uh, of course, we can save, we can stamp, so we have a bunch of options, and I will go through all those options in details in the next coming video, in the next week. Just to mention that uh, those textures are from the panels pack that is included uh, in the current version of Cascade and the next release I'm gonna add more landscape decorator items like rocks, like uh, trees and we will see. That's for now and you can join our support channel on Discord and on uh, Skype. Thanks for watching and see you soon next video. Bye.